Today we're going to do our very first virtual sketch with a reference picture taken by the German photographer Oliver Heinrichs. It is a, a very picturesque church uh, against a snowy mountain slash rocky mountain with a herd of sheep in the foreground. I believe this picture was taken by him in Iceland. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Wim from We Look Watercolors. Welcome to my channel where I take you along my journey in sketching and watercolor painting. As I said, today we're gonna do a virtual sketch based on this picture which I'm showing on the screen. I'll keep it there for reference so you can follow along. Um, I have one uh, over here next to me as a reference. Um, I'll be using a pencil because I'm not sure yet if I want to color this or uh, rather uh, redraw this with ink uh, after I'm finished. So we'll just start with uh, with pencil um, in my Hahnemüller 14 cm by 14 um, uh, 100 percent cotton sketch book. As you see, I've uh, already taped down the edges and I've drawn the um, yeah, the general frame in which I'll be uh, starting this picture here. So let's start with the horizon line. Um, might be worth just mentioning once again, I am a total beginner, so this is very, very new for me. Um, I'm bound to make mistakes, but hey, that's what this is all about, right? Uh, if we're not allowed to make mistakes, then just go follow someone very very well practiced no I'm just kidding stay here please <laughs> all right so perhaps this church is already way too big yeah see this I, I love this uh, needable eraser just and it's gone so we'll just make this church work much smaller because we need a lot of mountains in the background let's just see the broadly where this road is going Somewhere over here. And the sheep foot. We'll just make them small fluffy balls with legs. I think as far as my sketch outline, I'm pretty much done, rather pleased. Okay, as you can see, I've rearranged the desk a little bit. Um, I have my Koi Sakura beginner watercolor uh, sketching set over here. I've got my um, three quarter inch flat brush some water my mixing palette i noticed i still had some um indigo from last time so i've not cleaned that well um, we'll see how that uh, comes to use um i'm guessing i'll start with a flat no not with a flat wash just some water the the mountain range i'll probably just want to Let's use the uh, 12 Princeton brush with, um, let's see here, I uh, might be using some titanium buff as a base. And then just drop some mm, Prussian blue. 
I'm guessing Prussian blue might be ice. And a drop of indigo. Quite happy with that. Next, we'll do the grass field. Yeah, it's not a corn field, it's more like a, a dry grass field, of which I'm immediately thinking yellow ochre, a bit toned down, perhaps um, burnt umber. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, let me know what you think in the meantime. Again, be gentle. This is my very first uh, virtual sketch. I was always going to say urban sketch, but that's not it. I'm not physically sitting there in front of this church with the sheep. I am picture. I am um, painting from a picture reference. So I do believe that's called a virtual sketching exercise. Just pick up a bit of this excess water here. Just on this tape. And I'll be using a smaller brush for the sheep. Um, round six, yeah. The round six. And titanium buff looks like a nice color for the sheep. Perhaps a touch of sepia. I'm thinking Payne's Gray. All right, cool, we'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back. I was able to experiment a bit what color I would like to use to mimic this rooftop, uh, rooftop and I've decided to go with red oxide and a little bit of Payne's gray. Um, that, I guess, might work, yep. pleased with that. All right, um, I guess we can do the yellow-greenish piece of grass in between the sheep now. That seems to have dried up these sheep. So let's think out loud. A darker green with a warm yellow. 
would probably give us some pop, some nice permanent green deep. Right. We need to lighten it up much more if we want to keep this light permanently yellow. Yeah, that comes close. I really like this picture. <laughs> Not sure if I'm doing it any justice by <laughs> painting it, but um, as I mentioned in my introduction video, I used to be a professional photographer before the COVID pandemic, and this picture really. Um, I wish I would have taken this picture myself. I really like this. Alright, I'm going a bit darker and even adding some dark brown or perhaps a bit of sepia. So. a very nice um, characteristic uh, of the paint spray is that it's very granulating Cool. Um, again, I'm going to let this dry for a second and I'll come back. Okay, <clears throat> this grass uh, middle part uh, and the sheep have dried now, so it's time to paint in the road. Um, I've, in the meantime, added some of the details. I'm, I'm starting to regret a bit using this green and yellow mixture because it doesn't really fit in the color scheme so um, that perhaps wasn't the best of choices i'll see what i'll do with that later on perhaps i'll just uh, make that a bit duller even uh, but first the road which i'm thinking indigo yeah indigo uh, also has a, a nice grain to it might be a bit too blue so indigo and let's add again my favorite paint gray
I think I am ready to call it a day on this one. Okay, we're back. Um, the painting has dried, so let me remove this clip and I remove this tape, which I held up nicely. Yep, cool. I do say cool a lot, don't I? Yeah, that looks nice. All right. Yes, the permanent ink. Um, I mentioned this before in the video, what uh, stuff I use as a beginner. I'll link the video in the cards at the end uh, again. Um, but that is my fountain pen. Yeah, yes, I like this. My uh, fountain pen filled with platinum carbon ink, which is a permanent ink. The ink contains carbon particles actual carbon particles which makes it totally waterproof so i could have done this the other way around i could have first drawn this in ink and i could have painted over the ink um, i decided not to do that because i didn't know yet what i was planning I think I'll leave it at that. All right, I'll just sign this. And as a finishing touch, I know that lots of people like it and lots of people, an equal lot of people do not like it, but I'm a splatterer, so I am going to put some splatter done i would say so if you like this video um subscribe uh, like like subscribe um, ring um, click that notification bell so that you um, get alerted whenever i upload something new um, and by all means leave comments on tips and tricks on advice what did you like what did i do wrong um i bet i did lots of stuff wrong again uh, constructive uh, criticism, constructive feedback is always welcome. Um, so I'll uh, leave it at that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.